this video. It's a video workshop. It uh, deals with what I like to call workflow. Workflow is important because it's how you actually make things. And the thing that you're trying to make right now is a promotional movie about new tech. And uh, so I'm going to show you how I did the one that I made uh, last year. I made it last year. Mr. Sisson revised it and made it better this year. Um, unfortunately, it was still rejected. But um, this is... Uh, where I did my work. And so I'm going to take you through the process. This is Google Slides. You all have Google Slides. Many of you have used it before. So uh, something that you're going to want to do very quickly is start a new Google Slide. Have maybe one person, definitely have one person start the process, then uh, share it with everyone. And you want to give editing privileges to everybody in your group, which means you trust everybody right because you're all working for the same thing so everybody's going to be able to edit it and uh, you just type in your names uh, this is probably nobody's name and email address what usually works you can do this in about uh, a minute and a half to two minutes if you just make a line and you have everybody type in their own email address rps30 so make sure you put in that rps30.k12.ar.us address um, editing privileges are on send that so that you now have one document that everyone can use together um, and this is where you'll start building your slides now this is just how I did it if you have a better idea my go for it um, but in this way uh, I was able to basically take pictures um, and I just asked all of my friends and fellow facilitators to take pictures and create a little bit of text and I have a format here which you'll probably have a better format but uh, th that way I have a picture and a text on every slide I can put them I can easily put them in the order that I want you can start to talk about hey your slide looks good your slide uh, could be different let's let's get this all figured out together and you can all be working on it maybe some slides will just have text uh, one of those slides is definitely going to explain what um, song you have chosen which hopefully you have chosen by now uh, but this is like pretty basic, um, pretty basic graphic design skills that I used in making this, which is why it is uh, maybe not quite awesome, but, but the sentiment is good. The feelings are good. The pictures are good uh, because people uh, are expressing their emotions. And so that's something you want to get across when you're taking these pictures and you're adding them to your slides. Once you get all of the faculty selfies done, then what you, uh, well, I'm sorry, once you get all of the selfies or pictures or whatever it is that you're doing, um, once you have this all arranged in a, power, in, in, a, uh, in a Google Slides presentation that you think looks pretty good, right? This might take you two hours to do. Um, that's great. Um, people can, can help each other with grammar, help each other with spelling, help each other with uh, making it look good. Maybe appoint some leaders. Find out who the best artist in your group is, or two or three artists, and put them in charge of the design. Uh, find out who the who the people who love writing are, and, and put them in charge of different things. Maybe appoint one project leader, and, and probably you already have appointed that, because probably it's the person who said, uh, yeah, I've already got that Google Slides presentation, and come use my computer, and uh, I will make that happen. Now, once you get this far, you're not done yet, because this is not a movie. So how do you turn this into a movie? It's not that difficult. All you need to do is you'll have to do it one at a time. I, I, I looked for a faster way to do it, but I don't think there is one. Still, it's not super time consuming. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to, on each individual slide, you're going to download it as a JPEG. Your computers are fast. It doesn't take that long. There's one. And, and how I like to work, this is my personal workflow. If I'm working on a project, this is what my desktop looks like totally clean and I stick things that I'm going to be using on my desktop while I'm doing my project. So there's one, there's two JPEGs. I'm not going to do all of them because wouldn't that be a boring video and you would not learn very much. Once you have a whole mess, there'll probably be 30, 24, 25, maybe even 35 slides that look like this on your desktop. What you are going to do is you're going to open up another program that is a very good friend to you and let me find mine it is iPhoto now in iPhoto you can make something called a slideshow that is exactly what you're going to do you can see this is my work last year when I was just uh, practicing making a slideshow and learning how to do it so I've got these right here and my first job is to just get them into uh, into iPhoto it's very easy if I just clump them together like this again you'll have 30 
and you just bring them right over into photos. Okay, now I've got photos. There's my new photos right here. And I want to add these photos to a new slideshow. So if I hit uh, shift, I can select both of them at the same time. Let's see if it gives me a, it does not. So if I have both of them selected like that and I go over to new slideshow, let's see what happens. Okay, and there they are. It's going to give me this title slide, which you may or may not use depending on how that's going. Um, you might want to, and this is what I ended up doing last year, is make a title slide in faculty, faculty selfies, or make a title slide in your, in your Google Slides because it's easier. It's so easy to design something in Google Slides, turn it into a JPEG, and then move it over to iPhoto. So I'm not going to use that title slide. Let's pretend like this is what I wanted to do. So now I have some control over the slideshow itself. So if I hit settings here, I can, I, didn't, I, I could use transitions, okay? I can determine how long each slide is going to be, each slide for a minimum of three seconds. I could change it to as many seconds as I want. Now notice here, for slideshow settings, I've got all slides over here, I've got this slide over here. So you could individualize it depending on the slide, okay? There are all kinds of, of effects. Um, one thing that you might do uh, is once you get to the point where you all have a Google slideshow, or once you get to the point where you all have a, a Google slides like this, um, and everybody's pretty happy with where you're at, why don't you have everybody download it to their own desktop, and then everybody can fiddle with it, and you can take the best one. In other words, every single person is going to make one that's going to be, it's going to have the same slides, and they're going to be in the same order, but maybe somebody wants to get all, you know, funky with the uh, effects. And maybe some person, um, and you could, so this is just, just an idea, right? You don't have to do that, but that is an idea that's going to keep everybody uh, into this project. I think it's a pretty good one. Uh, music is this easy. All you need to do, there's some awesome songs that are already here, so like this one. Classic, this one. And here's actually a good song. Um, now, if you want to get different songs, which I'm sure that you do, then your job is to figure out how to get a song into iTunes, right? And I only have a couple songs. Uh, what do I have here? What is this? I don't know what that is. Uh, here's a good one. Oh, this is a great song right here. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. Um, as far as copyright considerations, uh, at this point, usually when these are not going to be published onto YouTube, I don't think that we need to do that right now, so don't worry about it. All right. When you're done, <laughs> when you have something in iPhoto and you all agree that it looks good, all right, you've got all of the things in order, you've got everything timed out so that when you play it, it has the music with it and everybody likes what it looks like. Turning it into a movie is this easy. Export, and you're gonna export it as a, let's see here, slideshow. It'll call it a slideshow, but what it really is, is a QuickTime file that is a movie. So you hit here, you hit export. Um, it's gonna take a while for it to show up on your uh, desktop because it's going to be a big, big file. My only has two slides and look, it's kind of creeping along here. So put that onto your desktop. Once that's on your desktop, it will be something like, I just had one on my desktop. Well, that one will appear probably by the time I get there. You're going to take that and you're going to upload that to Google Drive. So you're going to go to my drive. Uh, you are going to, there it is. There it is as a, and it did this, which I don't need. There it is. Um, I think it'll be on my desktop to, no, it's not. So where to go? I'll find it. I can find it, but I'm not going to find it right now because that's not a good use of our time. So what, I'm, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, new. And we're going to file upload. Let me see if I do, uh, here's a, let me see if I can find any video that happens to be on my computer. I don't know what it is, but uh, here's a QuickTime file right here. 
Um, so whatever that file is, you just hit open, and it's going to upload it. And depending on how big it is, this one is not too big. Um, it's going to come up to your drive. I don't even know what this is. Locate. Yeah, that's helpful. Um, so here's that particular file. And we're almost done. We're going to share it right here. And you're going to get a shareable link. And you're going to say that anyone with a link at our uh, address can link. You're going to hit copy link. And there you're done. Now that the link is copied, what you are going to do is you are going to go to today's agenda, which has been waiting for you. You're going to go to today's agenda. And you are going to upload your group's draft to Google Drive. Did it. One person, only one person needs to do this. One person from each team, paste a link to the file into this document, team drafts. There you go. I'm not on a team, so I'm going to put it into the spider pigs. There it is, and we're done.